This is my E Flight Air Tractor. I've upgraded her with um, an Avian ESC because um, she came with a telemetry receiver but no telemetry ESC. So I put the telemetry ESC in there so I get full telemetry. And um, also, instead of using the springs on the back, they give you all the hardware except for the rods. So I um, put these rods on. Um, I have a little Z-bend right here. They go right into the hole and the screws tighten them down. I got these rods from Pilot Mike. He had a bunch of extras. And he put them on the uh, C-188 Cessna air tractor. <coughs> So, you see it's got some really cool looking flaps with the groove in here. It's got strobes and navigation lights and nice bright headlights. Oops. Wish it had a tail light. Doesn't now. I have to do something about that someday. <clears throat> One thing to note about this Avian ESC is that um, E Flight didn't put the upgraded or Horizon Hobbies E Flight, whatever didn't put the upgraded servos with elevator and rudder so the avian ESC was causing some really weird they were flipping out and vibrating and so I did some research on RC groups and what you had to do was go into the forward programming on your radio and set those two servos to 22 milliseconds instead of they were defaulting to 11 milliseconds once I put them to 22, uh, they were perfect. Before I, before I had to change the frame rate, they were, you'd, you'd go like, like this, or like this, and they start go like that. It's just flipping out. Oh, that works fine. Braided prop on here. And it does have reverse. Okay. It automatically breaks before it goes into reverse. Set the motor off before you get near the prop. See what she looks like in the dark. Nice and visible. Those lights nice and bright. So this will be a really nice dusk flyer. Nice strobes.
Mm. See how I did the rods on the landing gear? Tail gear. Um, instead of having the springs here, I have a rod with a Z-bend going into the little grommet thingy that they already had. It has little holes. You can just tighten the screw down onto the rod. Do one of those for each side. And it just works quite nicely. Okay, the tractor has these little struts. Both sides. It has a teeny tiny rod that goes through here from side to side, but this supports mostly um, the rear uh, horizontal stabilizer. <coughs> it's got some nice lines cut out. It's all riveted. Got these nice things like the turbo timber. Nice and sturdy. They put metal gears metal geared servos on the um ailerons, but not on the flaps or the elevator or rudder. <coughs> See they got Nice coverings on the servos, and it's just kind of tacked on. You can pry these up pretty easily. That's just some tacky cement. <clears throat> some nice circles here. Black stripes. Where, I guess that's where the pilot would climb up and go in. Um, maiden for tomorrow, hopefully. That's the same pilot that's in other airplanes. Getting ready to go out for dusting. My A10, my uh, Mini Apprentice, and my Hoo Ha. <laughs> and if we go into here, have my Turbo Timber 1.5. Night Timber X and Twin Otter. I just just did a little bit of maintenance on the Twin Otter. The on the nose gear was loose. That's nice and tight. Just. Uh, Built this rack not long ago. You can put the uh, 
yeah, tractor down here, another plane there. And just part of my collection. I got more planes upstairs. <laughs> got another rack. And there we go. Thanks.